Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number two using the Stamping Up Oh So Eclectic um, collection. So I've been given um, the dies, the stamps, the paper pack and the matching ribbon um, by Kaylee, who's known as Create with Kaylee. All of her social media links and everything will be shared in the video description below here. Um, really, really excited to be using this product. And um, like I said, this is number two. So this is a really really pretty little handbag, gift bag. Um, I finished it off here with a little cluster of um, these fussy cut flowers and then these are the leaves that are die cut, um, matching handles and then I've got, these are from my own stash, these little leaf um, brads and basically the whole thing just opens like so with a velcro dot and then inside it reveals this really large 4x4 base. Um, little gift bag so you can fit plenty of stuff in there and it just looks super cute and I've done a few handbag styles now this one is different again because on the front here this is crisscross so these are folded over at the top so I'll be showing you how to do that style um, and then these bits just kind of curve around on the sides here. Um, I'll share all the links to the other handbags that I've done around here somewhere um, but yeah let's crack on and make this one. So you are going to need one piece of 12 by 12. I'm using the same print again. I absolutely adore this pattern paper. Um, I've got my ruler, hole punch, rule, um, corner rounder, and then I've got four little brads, the same again, so these are those little leaves. They were from a, um, a larger set of all different kinds. And again, I picked it up from the charity shop. Um, I seem to be quite lucky when it comes to crafting bits from the charity shops. So. Um, Again, if anybody recognises this here, then let me know. Um, so I've already pre-cut, so I've die cut um, two of the leaves from the um, dies, and these are the eclectic layer thin knits, and it is this one here. So I've die cut that twice on this colour card here, which is from my own stash, but it matches really nicely um, with this here. So I've die cut two of those and then I have, I'll put that away in a minute, and then I've stamped, you probably can't see these amongst the paper, one, two, three, there are these three flowers here which I've stamped and fussy cut, so just pop them to one side, and that's using this stamp here, and this is from the stamp set which is the Oh So Eclectic, um, again really love it, I love the kind of um, you know, I don't know what that kind of effect is. It's like a faded um, impression. I really like it. Um, I've stamped this one. I'm going to put the Oh Hello Friend sentiment on. So that one's got You're Just Lovely. But this one I'm going to change slightly. And that's just using the, you've got the four sentiments here. So I'm just using the, um, yeah, Oh Hello Friend. Then you will need, so one piece of 12 by 12. Then you need two pieces of half an inch by, this was just the, the default A5 length, which is eight and a quarter. If you've got eight, that would be fine. If you've got six, that would be fine as well. So it just depends if you want bigger handles or not. So two pieces of that. And then one little piece here, which measures three by one and a half inches. And this is to form our little closure. And along the three inch side, you just want to score there at one and a half inches. Okay, you can just burnish that piece over and then with my corner rounder, I've just gone around and just rounded off all four edges. Again, you don't have to if you don't have one. Okay, so let's crack on with some scoring. So pick one of your 12 inch sides and you're gonna score at four inches, at eight inches. Then rotate and again, score at four inches and eight inches. Then get rid of your scoreboard and with your ruler, one side there. You're going to, on the diagonal, you're going to score across. So each you've got three, six, nine squares. Again, you won't be able to see them so well on the pattern and even the other side's really pattern, but you will have four, um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big squares. The four outer squares you're going to score from corner to corner. So like so and score out so you're creating a score line going diagonally through that square and then rotate your card and do it again on the next one and then rotate again do it on the next one and then rotate again do it on the next one and if I bring it up 
and you just see the score line running. So this is that square in the corner. I've got my score line running right the way along there. You just want to do that on all of the corners squares and then once I start folding it you'll see that more clearly so just burnish your main score lines like so and then all of these ones here you just want to burnish like so so I'm folding them outwards as opposed to inside which is what we tend to do with most of the, you know, make you know box making and stuff. We fold inside, whereas these ones you're actually going to fold out. And just make sure that you get a really nice um, fold right to the very very end there, like so. Okay, so now you will kind of have this big bowl effect. Then what you're going to do is each one is going to so pinch them right up like so and then fold it across that four by four square and again like so okay see what you're getting there so that's formed that crisscross and then you'll do the same on the back and you'll have that effect again like so now that just gives you a really cool box so we're going to stick all of this down and you've got a really nice box there you can make a lid for it that would be really nice but what we're going to do just to transform it into the bag is when we attach our little closure we'll be pinching this middle bit together and that's where it gives you that shape, okay? So let's get it all stuck down first so it makes more sense. So you wanna stick all of these kind of triangles together. So on one of the corners here, I'm just going right along the triangle, like so, and then just fold that right over, like so. I've got my bone tool there just so I can get that glue right up to my corners and just spread it all out. So you can see now why this is quite different, although it looks similar to other bags that are like this, it is actually put together differently. Okay, so you want that, that effect now. So again, go around to the next one, just put it on one corner, one little triangle there, one side whatever it is I'm trying to explain. You don't need to put, it, put glue on the whole square, basically. Okay, and then again, just fold it across. And because you scored all those score lines, it will just all sit together. Okay, and just repeat that on the okay, other so now you should be left with this odd, random looking shape, okay? And then what you want to do is just decide really what you want to be your front and your back. I mean, like there, can you see I've got a little bit of that blue just coming over there so I would want that piece to be folded that way so it kind of hides that and again that side can you see where it's not quite lined up I've got that blue poking out the top I'm going to fold that over and now you can't see it at all so that's going to be my one of my fronts or backs and then that will be the other one like so so now we need to stick these pieces again down so you want to put glue on one side here and again with as I always say with this particular glue that I use which is the Alina's tacky glue it, it dries really hard so this becomes a really really strong gift bag because if you imagine we've got two pieces of paper already folded to make this triangle then we're folding it again on top of this piece of paper so that's three layers once that all dries with all that glue it becomes very very strong so I'm just putting my bone tool inside there just to make sure I can get that really nice and secure and all that glue spread out. And again, keeping all those nice sharp corners and edges and you want everything lining up. Okay, so you can see now. Again, because it's a pattern paper, it's hard. There you go, you can see where it's folded across. And then this one, we're gonna glue all of this side now and then fold that piece across that way. Okay, so again. And just lie that one down and then pop it over on the other side and again just use your bone tool just to get right in there and spread all of that glue out and you just want to repeat exactly that on this opposite side so these two pieces are now going to go over okay so just carry on and do that okay so now there is my box so now when I push those two sides that we stuck here and here together you can see that bag straight away starts to take shape so what we want to do now is a little bit of decoration so with these three here, 
where we scored at um, that one and a half inch score line, this would be the back, this is the front, and it's gonna sit like so. So there's my score line, and I'm just putting this towards the top right hand corner. Then another one is gonna go like so. So pop a little bit of glue here. Again, really small amount, not a lot at all. It's gonna go like so. And then this last one is gonna cover you want to make sure you can see all the, the centre bits there. There is a stamp to stamp this detail inside the flower, but I really like that, just that real plain look. Um, if I show you here, these ones here, these little stamps, you can stamp in the middle there. I'll just give a bit more detail. Okay, like so. And then these two are going to just kind of wedge underneath. You see there, you're going to go in between and kind of just cascade down. So I'm gonna have one like so, and then grab this other one, and I have this one kind of sticking out from that side. I might cut it down a bit, but like that. And then that sentiment is gonna go right in the middle. So can you see there, that's what we're gonna kind of have. So let me just finish. Well, actually the glue is stuck to glue already in there. That one's already stuck now, so I can leave that one there. This one I'm gonna cut down a little bit. and just grab my scissors, just trim that off and then pop a little bit of glue, again such a small amount and that one can be wedged, actually I'm just going to stick it right under like so, like that, you can see it's all nice and neat there on the back as well and then this little sentiment I'm going to put on a little piece of foam backing um, just grab a strip there, sit over that kind of join where they all join in the middle. Okay, so you can see now what I've just put together. All right, then that back bit will fold down, so that's why I said you don't want to go past that score line, and that's going to sit over like so. All right, it's all looking nice coming together there. Okay, so now we need to attach our handles. So what you want to do is just grab a hole punch, and literally you just want to punch down. Let's do these ones, and I can tell you. I wonder how far I've done it. It's about a quarter of an inch down. See there, it's about a quarter of an inch down and in, okay? From the corner of the square again there, about a quarter of an inch down and in. And then this, I'm just going to hole punch again, about a quarter of an inch in, okay? And do the same, like so. And then grab one of my brads, pop it in there, and then pop it through and attach it like so. And then this one, you're then gonna bring, so hold it like that. You can see my thumb is facing the top. Keeping my thumb facing the top, just bring it around so it will curve around like so. If you twist it, then they won't sit like they do like that. Again, feed that one through. And you can see now I've got that handle and then just repeat the same okay. on the other side. So there you have it. So now if you just wanted a really nice just four by four square box, if you had maybe a little pot plant to put in it, then you could keep it like this. But that's not what we're doing today. So now you just squeeze them together. And what we want to do is pop some glue on the back of this one here. So the one without your decoration stuck down. That's the word I was looking for, decoration. And then pop it over so the score line is sitting across the top so when it's pinched together you can see now I'll just bring that up you want to make sure it's really flush with the top here and just stick that glue down on the back you could do this before you stick everything on but it's I just find it works just as well doing it this way as well and just hold that all in place there and then what you will do is stick down the front with a Velcro dot, but I've actually run out. So, I'll put that one under actually. Um, that is it done. Because now what you would do is lift this front one up, put your Velcro dot there, and then push that one down. Okay, but I don't want to take my finger off the back because I don't want to let go because that glue's still setting. But there you have it. So really, really quick, um, beautiful little gift bags, handbags. Um, again, I always think these handbag styles are perfect for little girls, um, like birthday parties, um, 
and hem parties and things like that. I think they look wonderful. So I'm still holding this one in place, but they have it. So I hope you like project number two. If you are interested in uh, getting hold of any of the products, I'll share all the links to Kaylee's website so you can purchase through her. Again, thank you, Kaylee. I'm enjoying this a lot. And um, tune in for my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>